All right, testing, testing, one, two. Um, before I get on with the video, I wanted to give a couple shout outs to some players. Uh, Zephyr uh, is one of them. He was the one, uh, he's a buddy of mine on Discord. Uh, basically told me that like I should start putting in a little bit of context for my uh, videos and explaining and describing like how the build works. So shout outs to you, uh, Zephyr. Uh, I want to say shout outs to uh, Gerard, which is another Lavos uh, buddy of mine that I met on Facebook. Also, my 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 big brother uh, Ryan, aka Bad Hero. Check him out, Bad Hero One on YouTube. But um, yeah, uh, I was doing some research and um, watching you know your typical like Nightmare Frame, Asian Invasion, and a couple other videos for uh, Lavos and Lavos is. Uh, I'm not going to say he's my main, but I do love playing him, and uh, me getting on Warframe on and off, I haven't really got to update any uh, builds and whatnot. So, um, I had copped uh, Lavos's recent augment uh, Valence Formation when um, casting an ability, which is one of his abilities, it imbues that element, and the cool thing about it is it gives you that 200% bonus on your weapons and after watching nightmare frame and watching some other guys um i don't think they've explained that with uh so for instance like i'm using just straight up sample tees um the cool thing about it is if you notice i don't have any electric procs or electric mods my bad i don't have any electric mods on my build except for yeah except for that one but it's built for corrosive and you need electric so let's let me take for instance let me take that off it's just I'm gonna show an example of something because you need for it to proc melee influence you need electric and the cool thing about that is if I proc if so if I imbue electric and I cast it. I got the electric valence up, right? So I can automatically proc melee influence. Which means the, the dopest shit about that is you do not have to have an electric mod on your weapon and you can proc, you can proc melee influence. I think that is the coolest shit. And, um, and yeah, so basically this is going to be like a, a sample tease. I like to call it slam po tease. I'm basically doing like a heavy, a heavy attack build. And, um, I'll take, just take note that like, I haven't, basically I just took some builds from other YouTubers and other people who've made the builds and I just tweaked it myself of my own preference because honestly at that point if you're playing Lavos and you can literally like with the sample tees you can literally build it to however you want the cool there's some like some basically I can like do like a uh, I can cheese with like mm, let's say like melee vortex and I can go ahead and just proc magnetic and I'll cast it and I'll get for the valence formation and I'll get you know 200% magnetic and that would actually make like melee vortex like vortex all the uh, all the enemies in or her, whoever isn't dead will get sucked in which is pretty neat but uh, I'll probably have to I'll probably do like a, like a little clip of that next time but for right now I'll just show like just a basic uh, build that I, I thought would be pretty cool for Sampo T's with Lavos because it synergizes with him pretty well. Um, of course, I put Nourish on him for I put Nourish on him for the viral damage. On top of that, but if I show you again, um, even without the viral. Uh, it still does retarded amounts of damage. And this is without nourish. Clearly, like, like, 
<laughs> I didn't even have nourish equipped. So that goes back to the build. Honestly, like if you don't, you don't have to use nourish. If you don't want to, you can use something else. But I wouldn't, you know, I would also recommend just using his kit in general because his kit is perfect. It's sweet. Um, and you can use the, you can use the Archons, you can use all the Archon um, mods and whatnot. I, I would say Archon Continuity and Vitality for sure because, you know, you can get corrosive damage on top of that. And you can get the crazy heat damage, which is, you know, heat damage is always good. Um, not so much for, I mean, you can use stretch if you need the range. Flow, you, you know, that's, I don't think flow is like really needed. You can't really use that because you don't have energy, so there would be no point. So, um, as other content creators are talking about, if you're using sample tees, use the Naira mods for the slam damage. Um, some other people were using um, the what mod is that for the Aura? I think it was I forgot what it was called. Some Ready Steel. You can if you you can build the sample tees for combo if you want to. Uh, I'm strictly doing heavy slam. Um, I'm not really worried about swinging it just to proc the melee influence. Like I just imbue my, I just imbue my weapon and whatnot with electric and call it a day and go ahead and slam freely. Um, so and uh, you don't have to put in seismic wave, I guess, because I guess people would say that. There is enough base damage. I really like Seismic Wave. Uh, I want more base damage. <laughs> so that is up to you. It really doesn't need Seismic Wave. Um, and another thing, shard-wise for Lavos, honestly, you don't... For sure, Casting Speed would help. So go ahead and throw you a, slap you a Casting Speed shard. But honestly, what I'm thinking about adding, since if I'm using Corrosive builds... I'm thinking about throwing a corrosive uh, stack shard or green shard on him as well. That might be an alternative uh, for stripping and whatnot. But with the sample tees alone, um, I mean, you one shot, you you one shot acolytes like you can kind of is you have a lot of range when it comes to making like a build for the sample tees. Honestly. Um, you notice that I'm not using a faction mod. I could use a faction mod, but I'm not really into faction mods like that. Um, that's that's just my preference. I haven't got to that point where I'm. Um, I'm not. I haven't got to that point where like, I want to like, play like super efficiently. Like this is, this is really just a fun build, um, for me, but, um, for sure. So now, um, I will uh, go into a mission. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go ahead and showcase a couple slams. Actually, I hate those nullifier units. And the funny thing is, with the slam attack, it's funny because like you think it would. Yeah, no. It just eats through the nullifier bubbles, which I thought it was kind of funny. Because I really hate nullifier bubbles. So they're like the bait of my existence, I swear. Yeah. So, um, feel free to give me more, more insight is kind of just like a this video is kind of just like a theory of things that I've learned and things that I like doing um, build wise I would honestly would like to try like an umbro set or put all the umbro mods on there if not um, I probably would uh, 
Yeah, I'd probably try an Umbral set next time if I actually get an Umbral Forma to see how that build goes. Um, the build looks kind of squishy, but with the Swift Bite that gives you heals and the Arcane Reaper, um, it, it, I'm constantly doing slams and I'm constantly killing shit, so I get heals back for sure. Um, but, um, yeah, I'll go do, I'll show another slam real quick. And another thing is, you can, um, you can try out other arcanes. Like, is, like, Lavo specifically, like, you can try, you can use the animosity and get, like, a higher crit, a higher crit chance on the heavy attack. Or you can add more status effects. Because Lavos is just about killing shit with status effects, which is pretty neat. Um, so, I'm going to do one more. Then um, I'll go ahead and go into a mission. And I'll kind of show off like how I play with uh, the Slam Poti. <laughs> going to a mission but um yeah feel free to uh if anybody's got any more interesting facts about the slam potees or about lavos uh i'm always i'm all ears um there's i'm kind of one of those players that like to tell people there is no wrong way to play uh there's no wrong way to play a frame or to play a build that's just all that's just how you play so um, the more you know the better you are basically So if the mind is a metropolis, how high is the wall? And do you feed a semi-truth to make it grow big and tall? Are you intending on pretending what you feel is the law? I guess my question is if this is about this so much more. So are the walls to block the world out, dude? Is that what they're for? Cause self-imposing isolation is a terrible call. Seems like this meeting's real subject is the state of the war. I'm not the adversary, architect designing the fall. But I'm so sorry that I hurt you. Thank you. 